believe in Nigerians' grant ecosystem. My name is Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, we really appreciate. Thanks a lot for the visit. In this uh, video, I want to do a sincere, honest, unbiased, objective review of the speech Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama gave us on Sunday. Now, you know, sincerely speaking or normally just speaking let's let's just speak you know that ambassador apostle dr ken is too much for somebody that serves the masses this is a red flag already if you do psychology human psychology you understand what i'm saying this first past the uh, ambassador apostle doctor the coordinate connotation of this gathering of title goes with ego goes with greed goes with a lot of things we know yes you know that is why that is why in america they just address their president as mr president mr president simple enough it's it's not only calling him the name it's symbolic imagine you are calling yourself ambassador apostle doctor and you are serving the masses and you are serving the masses in britain they call him prime minister mr Bra prime minister mp service service doesn't go with all this nomenclature of gathering of names is already a red flag let's go on i come your way this evening to express my heart it has been a very tough month, days and weeks for me, my family and my team impossible to deliver this grant to every Nigerian. I am in pain over the suspense, allegations. Now, it has been for you, your family and your team. That's all. Have you forgotten that some people are dying? There was no commemoration as in commensurate as in come to fact that some people were raped some people lost their lives some people lost their business i'm talking about only you your family your team let's go on. an accusation be leveled on me and accusation be leveled on you now this accusation that is leveled on you if you are objective enough you were the one that came to us and said december 27 no going back you came to us you say january sacrosanct you came to us okay february you are you are you are the one giving us these dates in which we have the record in which you come on air and you tell you tell us uh, like admin uh, alice was saying that when he went for verification they told them that the money has already been shared waiting for them to verify so that it to be disbursed you were the one that said all this now you are coming out to criticize or as in to query us for laying allegation on you which is justified on a daily basis i am not talk talking or replying any of them because i see it as a sacrifice i must pay and that does not make the accusation to be true. Okay. With the present misrepresentation, it behooves on me to come out to say a few words, to clear some malicious attempt to smear my name. Recently, a group called uh, Grand Fighters. Have you seen of the deviation? We are talking about disbursement we you supposed to come when you address us last was a month ago and a lot of speculation a lot of jennifer is came out and gave 15th some people came and gave okay let's just go back there were a lot of dates that have been given you have to come and address those rumors address those propaganda what you are now talking about is something that is not even related to immediate disbursement 
of combination and various group of grand fighters made a publication calling on the government committee and some persons that God has on his own chosen to help us. Now, this deviation, or should I call it this uh, a proposed attempt to deceive us and bringing God into it, it can be very, very unfair. God have used these people, brought it to help these people to help us. Are you not the one that told us your name is in the document? Are you not the one that told us you have gotten the money? So why are you not telling us that God brought people to help us when you have already said that God brought you to help the masses, that God told you in 20 years time, you will disburse this money to the masses. And that was in the year, I think it was not 22 years ago or so. Okay, God is no longer using you to disburse the person there yeah, this morning. God has brought other people to now disburse this money. You were the one telling us all this. And it's on record. It's even in this channel. And accusing them of extorting money from me and from our Grand Pressure Group. Now, this is what is called in smoke screen smoke screen now he is saying that those people distorted money from him and all ground pressure group you see what he's saying but he is the one now he's trying to form a victim now trying to form a victim so that i would distract the masses for calling him out for taking the money from the masses you see it so he is now trying to claim a victim that some people are saying that other group of people came to 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 extort him whereas he is the one extorting the masses i hope you're getting where this man's psychology is going this is to tell you the kind of people we are dealing with making a threat from that right up to even public their pictures and their name to social media. I came out this evening to make it clear that one, I can work at my, I am not part of that accusation. I do not know anything about it. I have not complained to anybody that I'm being extorted. He is now forming a victim. Have you seen Somebody victimizing somebody coming out to orchestrate the whole story so that he will be a victim. Now he's saying that some masses came and said people are extorting him, deviating us from the main course. Where is our money? And where is the money that what is the whereabouts of the money we paid to get disbursement for? Anything like extortion. It's what happened in the time past when we were finding a way to come out. In the time past, he is going back to Tiobat. He is taking us now back to Tiobat, diverting and digressing and distracting us. And a lot of things happened, but that is in the time past. Okay. But at this present time, God has provided people that he had chosen to help us, who are helping us, accusing me of being part of it is emanating from the enemies of my life and my destiny. I am not part of it. The meeting they call by Chief Akogun and uh, another person, Comrade Jonas, as the right of said, which is a meeting with inviting me or Grand Pressure Group and every other persons. I hereby make it clear that I am not part of that meeting and I'm not going to be in such meeting if it ever holds. I am not part of it. I know God has taken us so far in this grant from various levels of processes to where we are today. I advise Nigeria and everybody to stay calm. This is not a time of fighting or name call. To stay counting when? You see, you see, 
every time he came he comes to give a speech he always says stay calm is he when everybody is dead is he when people that are supposed to eat this money doesn't have appetite to eat it again is he when the count of beneficiaries start reducing which i have suffered in the time past up to yesterday up to today you people are accusing me of not knowing what i'm doing because i am not telling you what you want to hear because these are classified information until they finish i hand over to us i can be able to talk imagine until they finish which means they don't even know what is happening that is what he wants us to know that's what he's portraying to us <laughs> what finish what now is he finished with what are they finishing with yes there are some information that is classified but definitely you have to get us the stage you are now the stage you are now should not be classified it for example now when a woman is pregnant you can you tell me that the pregnancy is classified it's obvious that she's pregnant even now the gender of the child can be classified they can decide not to disclose the gender of the child but it's eminent that the pregnancy is not classified everybody knows that the woman is pregnant but the gender can be classified so you can you can we don't care about the complexity or the analytics of what you're doing but all we care is which stage are you and which date are we going to get disbursement once a woman is pregnant there's a there's a pre, pre premonition time for pregnancy to be to be if a woman to give birth so there should be a time frame should they be working ad without without ad, ad infinito without coming to an end there should be a time frame so yes your transaction should be classified but the time frame of the completion of what you're doing we should know i got this large privilege information that just came out let me make it clear to you that nobody has extorted us i have nobody has extorted us you see now he's now trying to join us he's the one dealing with us he's not joining us to form a victim i, I hope we are all getting we are trying to to critically analyze what ken is doing to the masses what why the delay come out and tell us this that this that this that is not saying us don't be distorted by any of this authority and the committee are working tirelessly to see that this grant came out day and night with heavy passions i can wagama have not been extorted mm -hmm. i also had uh, some of my people who takes advantage of that that's v note and the opera uh, update coming that chief akogu have been pumping money to me therefore i am the one that sent him to do that so they can take advantage of it i hereby said it akogun is not sponsoring what i am doing he's just a partner of uaag and also a consigned person to the community we hearing is being not the, the bad aspect of all this is that Chief Akogo also, you know, to be frank with you, to be fair, almost everybody, 99.9, .9, I'm not exaggerating. If, if what I am saying is wrong, somebody should come out and dispute me. 99.9% .9 of people in grand community have gotten their hands soiled. Now, let us elaborate. The time they were collecting money for beneficiaries, for subscribers to subscribe, many of them did a fast run. Some of them overcharged the subscribers and took a lot of money for them, for themselves. Some of them short change. That is where they start soiling their hands. Probably some of them will take five thousand for the masses for subscribing, and that five thousand goes to their pocket some of them had 50 bundles 60 bundles so imagine somebody that have 50 bundles and that 50 bundles comprises of 1000 persons for one bundle and you take 55,000 naira from them already they have enriched themselves now 
what do you expect them to do to be coming and be fighting for justice no they will be slow to eat because people have paid them i'm just using this five thousand to just play a low key scenario some people collected more than that some people collected more than that you hear people saying that they closed down their business just to subscribe you hear people saying that they use their rent just to subscribe that is huge money so which means the ceos and a lot of bundle heads have gotten their hands soiled so who now will advocate for who that is the main ligament we are now just like every other vnot so he is not sponsoring me neither did i know anything about the meeting he's calling or the vino they made or the update update they sent out permit me to tell the members of grand community that anybody trying to give it another coloration or interpretation in doing so to heat up the system because chief akogu never give me money to run you aag i pray that the people finding the embers of war should immediately desist from it such from such wickedness i'm only a tool in the hand of god and this project will continue and the lord will perfect everything that consigned this project i've gone through a lot of things in this very project name calling accusation some people even feel that even though you take permission from them before they can put apostle ken to do the job this has been a recurrent decimal anytime he, he makes a speech. Some people feel that God should take permission from them. This kind of uh, statement is extremely derogatory and, and he feel he, he makes he's feeling entitled. So God put you there. Nobody can remove you. Now, we are not talking about putting or not putting. What we need is tell us the stage we, we are and tell us when this money is coming out. That's all. And do you expect to have peace when for more than for years now you are holding some people's money without telling them the whereabouts of the money and you expect them not to allege and not to antagonize you? Is he not the one that moved for Theobat to leave the scene because Theobat was doing it wrong? I, I hope you're getting the scenario. You saw that Theobat was not delivering you orchestrated Theobat remover and you now came the whole scenario is worse and you are not telling people to keep quiet you plan a coup to remove your successor is this successor you call it or predecessor or oh, whatever you plan a coup to remove him then when you now go there you are now perpetrating more things and you are now trying to shun coup for being planned against you so i hope we get the scenario however my confidence is in the god who told me about this, who put me in this, who made me to be where I am today. I hereby advise the whole Nigeria, this is not the time to make noise. Everybody be calm. Well, we make noise because this thing, every month you tell us this is not the time to make noise. And you have not brought out a logistic analysis of the breakdown of the situation and where you people are and where we are going to expect this money i bet you now next month he's going to come and reiterate this thing he has already dropped out is this still going to say although there was one speech i i always he's always saying which which i i i didn't hear today i didn't hear him i'm a man under authority at we've not heard that so he's now predictable that anything he wants to say is it like a, a monthly dropping? You don't even need him to talk. You just play back what he has said before. The only thing that is missing now in this world he has said, which he has not said, is I'm a man under authority, which he has even said indirectly. In a shortest time, shortest this time. is coming out. If you damage the process we have been through all this while, the consequences will be on your head. Have you seen? He is trying to exonerate himself now if you damage the process. So if there is any question of what are they are doing and anything happens and you say damage will be, they, they, they disrupted it. How can you demand for the money? Demanding for the money becomes destruction of the process. How come? So you see this threat now is given is a threat for benefactor, uh, beneficiaries to calm down 
and feel complacent to do anything because they feel like doing something spoils the whole process. So I hope we are getting what his, his mindset and the situation revolving around this are grant. I declare today that I am not part of that venom or the update. I never had a meeting with anybody and I'm not attending any such meeting. I exonerate myself, my executive, my committee from this very meeting. I hereby declare that I am a law-abiding citizen following the counsel and instruction given to me by the people God has set over to help me out. I have not done anything contrary to that and will never be so. My prayer is that God will help everyone, the committee, to finish everything they need to do so that this grant will come out. God bless you all. My name remains Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Have you seen escapism? Have you seen, that's why I said that this uh, this uh, Chief Okogo's meeting was just quite unfortunate. He has been looking for a, a way to come and address and how he's going to face the masses this month. Now, can you see that everything he said was revolving around this meeting, which is even not consequential. Conse not consequential. This meeting now that Chief Okogo called, Okay, you come and address it. You are not part of the meeting. Then tell us what we need to know. The only thing he came now is to address this meeting, and that is this month's delivery of his address. What is the grant procedure? When are we expecting this grant? He did not say. Which stage are they? He did not say. So he did escapism. He escaped from the reality, and it's all good. He has spoken this month. Next month. He's coming to speak because definitely the way he is going, this grant is not coming this month. It's not even coming next month. There is no way this grant is coming this month because this month have ended. Today is 20, is it 21st or 22nd? The month have ended. They've closed the voucher for this month. Now, next month starts now. There's going to be a lot of propaganda. There's going to be a lot of things. Till the ending of next month, he will now come and address us. So, guys, that that is the sincere. No. So, if that is the, it, you, some people might be dropping in the description. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the comment open. I'm not going to filter it. I'm not going to filter it. This is what Ken has said indirectly. Every statement made. This is the analysis. See you on the other side.